Hey guys, it's your boy Jaminator here with another Pokemon card video. Today I wanted to show off a couple of my um, PSA returns. If you haven't seen my PSA return video um, before and you don't want to watch it, I was just going to do a little recap of what I did get and what I predicted the grades were going to be, what I actually got out of it. And then I'm going to jump into what I plan on sending for my next submission. So stay tuned to see these because these are really cool cards. I've got 20 picked out that I'm going to send off to get graded from PSA. Uh, so the PSA return I just recently got back in the last month. This is really good. It was like 13 bucks each card to get graded. Um, this one, the Shiny Rayquaza, PSA 9. I actually thought this would get like a 7 or 8 because I saw how the centering was like really off here. Um, the back wasn't too bad. Yeah, but look, 9's pretty good. It was more so like a um, learning experience experience so it's good to know that they take centering into account a lot like there wasn't any other damage at all so that's to mean exactly why they gave it a nine instead of a ten then i sent off these fusion strike celebes both of these got tens i should have another two here as well yeah so i've got two more here These two I sent off also got tens, and these were Japanese ones. Um, now I predicted that these would get like eights or higher, based on like how good condition they are. The only thing is, some of them are pretty terribly centered. I think the uh, the English ones had some pretty terrible centering. Like this edge here is really thin compared to that thick one. Like on the back, you can see it skewed. And um, this one's also skewed some really terrible centering. These Japanese ones are pretty good as well, but I also thought, like, because they were given away raw when they were given out, that it would be pretty hard to get a good condition one of these. But turns out they did all right. So these got 10s. So I'll put those here. All the Celebes got 10s. So I was surprised about that. Um, the Giratina Full Art. This was pretty clean. Had a really nice centering on it. And the back was really well centered as well, nice and clean. So I was predicting that to get a 10, and that did. And then the special arts, I sent off two of them. There was the alternate art Palki and the Chilling Rain Calyrex V, alternate art. And I'd had predicted that these would get really high grades as well. I had multiple copies of these ones and I sent in the best centered ones. So you can see there's like zero damage, like not even a speck on a corner or a rough edge. Um, centering is pretty awful on this. You can see this edge is really thick and that's really thin. And then this one was pretty good. So the, Pal the um, Palkio is really good, but the um, Calyrex centering is pretty awful and it's still got a 10. So it just goes to show that, you know, just because it doesn't have perfect centering doesn't mean that the grader might give you like a, a high grade or not. Like you really don't know. So it's always worth sending in to get graded anyway. Like there's just as much terrible centering on this Rayquaza 9 as there was on this Calyrex. And this got a 10 and that got a 9. So, you know, you never know unless you send it off to get graded. The other one I sent off was this Umbreon V from Brilliant Stars. Um, some of the edges are really a cut poorly. And I, I noticed how like there's just like a little bit rough. I sent it in uh, anyway, but you can see it's really skewed and I think that's probably why they Gave it a 9 instead of a 10. Um, I predicted that one would get like an, an 8 or something This one I actually thought it would get an 8 or higher and it came back as a 7 I was like, what's wrong with it? I just couldn't see it and it turns out There's like some crease right there going up there um and I just didn't see it. And you can't actually see it until you get the light on it just right. And then you can see this crease and you're like, oh, damn, that's, that's nasty. Um, but it's still a really good card and everything else is about it is perfect. So it's probably why they gave it a seven. But um, I, I always thought that like creases and dings and whatever bring it down straight to a six. But they must have been like pretty generous on this. So that one ended up getting... A seven. So these were the nine and nine nine and a seven. Then I got this Umbreon GX 
Full Art Shiny from Hidden Fates, PSA 10. I was so happy about this one because I bought it and I re for the purpose of grading and I really wanted to get a 10 with this. I really didn't know for certain if it would get a 10 because as you can see, this side's edge is really thick compared to this one, so I thought it would be off-center. But it's really good on the back, really good centering. It's sort of off-center on the front, but still came back a 10, so I'm happy with that. And then the other two I sent off were the Rayquaza PSA 10 um, Hyper Rares. Now, a lot of people don't like the Hyper Rares, but they look so nice in a PSA case. Like, look at that. If you have that on display, that's going to look sick as. Um, so I was really happy with these. I did predict that those would get high grades as well because they're all really well centered and not a single speck of damage at all. Not even one little bit um and they came back tens so we got quite a few high grades in there and then just two nines with the umbreon on this rayquaza shining and then that one dark eye which is a seven and it actually has some damage on it so it kind of makes sense now let's go through these 20 cards here and i'll put my predictions in based off my previous experience on what i can get from these um, yeah, so let's just go straight into it. I've got some Lugias here. Three gold Lugia V-Stars and one normal Lugia Full Art. I love Lugia. I love, love, love Lugia a lot. Um, having a look on the front of all of these, they seem pretty clean. There's no damage or edge wear. The centering is pretty poor. This one's really thin on the right side. It, it might be thin enough, they could just give it a nine. So I'm predicting that one to get a nine, um, but these three look pretty good. And on the back, yeah, nice. See, I actually reckon all three of these could get tens and then that Lugia V full art could get a nine. I then have this Charizard V star rainbow rare. Now the border on the left is a little bit thin as well. And then on the back, it's a little bit off center too. So they could give this a nine instead of a 10. Um, but it also isn't subtracting from the visual pleasing of just looking at it. Like it still works well with the rainbow. And it does say on their grading scale, like if you have one thing that affects the cards, like symmetry or perfection, but it doesn't take away from the overall like look, look from the eye however they say it's like literally it says it on their um their website then um it could still be a 10 so i'm saying that is a 10 and then of course i've got another dark iv star i picked this one out because i want to send in another one and actually get a good shot at 10 because i just love this card so much um this one my friend zach pulled who got it from him in a trade so i'm going to go 10 for that as well then i've got dark ride gx this one's centering is Bang on perfect. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't fault this centering at all. So I'm going to go 10 for that one. Um, Mewtwo GX. This one's centering is also perfect. On the back. Absolutely amazing. Like that little white thing there. Is, that's a bit of rice. So don't worry about that. Another one. Um, pulled both of these. Centering is really good. So like both of these 10s. Surely. This one here, I also bought this from a card store for the purpose of grading it. I'm hoping it does really well. I bought it because I couldn't see anything wrong with it and the centering is really good, so I'm hoping for a 10 on this one. Umbreon VMAX, I got this one in a trade and for the purpose of grading it, centering is really good. Not any damage on the corners, no edge wear. Um, Let's pull this out, have a little look. I thought I just saw something on the bottom corner. Nope, that's definitely on the um, the, ca the case. You see that little nick there? It's definitely not on the card that's on the case. So uh, this one, I'm gonna say Umbreon VMAX PSA 10, Hyper Rare. This Rayquaza GX with the really cool cat sleeve. I bought this one also from a card store because I just love Rayquaza and I think this one's looking really good. Really think this one can get a good shot at a 10. Look at that back. 
Mm -mm. Really nicely centered, really good condition, no marks, no dings, no white dots. Really nice card. So I reckon this one, good shot out of 10 as well. And then we start coming down a little bit. Now these next few might not get 10. So I'm gonna send off another shiny arrow class. This one's centering is a little worse than the first one I sent in. So you see this one centering is good. This one is a bit worse. Sending it anyway, I wanna see if the grade is any lower or if it's just the same. So I think this one might actually come back as like a, an eight or a seven, probably an eight. There's actually nothing wrong with the back or anything. It's just the centering is pretty poor. So I'm gonna say eight for this one. Eight and nine, and these are gonna be tens. Then I've also got this Rayquaza from EX Emerald. EX Emerald was a set released in 2005 to feature Rayquaza coming out as like the feature legendary Pokemon. But it's really funny, they made ultra rares in that set for heaps of Pokemon, but this is the only Rayquaza card in that whole set and it's just a regular holo. And I thought it's really special because it's the Rayquaza set, it's EX Emerald, the first set that was ever featuring Rayquaza on like a pack art or anything. Um, actually, no, that's not right, they had that in the EX Sandstorm. Anyway, really, really good card. Everything is perfect about it except this one tiny little white dot right there. You can see it right there. I think this could be a PSA 9. And then if they're feeling generous, they might actually give it a 10 because that doesn't actually take away the visual appeal of this card at all. But yeah, nine, two nines and eight and these are all be gonna be tens. And I've got this Deoxys. This is a reverse holo. I just love the pattern. Such a cool card. This is another one of those sets where the set was featuring a Pokemon and this was like one of the only Pokemon in the set that were featured. So EX Deoxys, this is the Deoxys from the EX Deoxys. Um, could have got the Gold Star Rayquaza, did not. <laughs> this card is pretty clean. It does have like some silvering, so you can see like just there on this side, it starts silver, yeah. And then on the back, it's pretty clean as well. Um, I think that silvering might bring it down a bit too. So I'm gonna say with this one, uh, damn, I'm gonna say an eight. I'd love to get that higher, but I think it's gonna be an eight. Okay, and then we got this Arcanine, really clean Arcanine from Fire Red Leaf Green. Very, very nice card. I think it had another thing like that, the Rayquaza. It was just a little dot, and I think this is just because the way they cut it back then. I'm gonna say this one's gonna be a nine, but they could even be generous and put it in the tens. And then finally, I've got four cards, and this is like a set, because they all came in the same tins. These are Alternate Art Promo GXs, and they're Tag Team GXs, so they have two Pokemon in each of them. This one has Lucario and Melmetal, and it's a really well-centered card. This came in a tin with a promo, really nice uh, condition on the back, no edge wear or anything, tiny bit off-centered here, but I think this one can be a 10. Then I've got the Mewtwo, um, this one's centering is a little bit worse. You can see the edges are almost touching the top and much thicker down there. So I think this one could actually be a nine, which is a little bit sad because I would have loved to get all of those as a set as tens, but I'm sending them off anyway. They might be generous enough and give me a 10 in that. I do have some pretty awfully centered PSA tens, so it could happen. Then I've got this Eevee and Snorlax, another beautiful card. This one's centering is bang on. And the back is looking really nice. It's another piece of like dust up there. So don't worry about that. Really good card. This one's going to be a 10 as well. And this Giratina and Garchomp GX. Another cool card. He's got like a spatial rift that he's peeling open. And Garchomp's just like chilling there. Going, what's going on, man? Um, this one looking pretty good. Let's check the back out. Uh, not bad, not bad. So I reckon this one could also get a 10. Be a little bit disappointing to see um, 
that Mewtwo not get the same grade as the rest, but you know, we're just gonna have to take them as they come. So that should be all 20 cards. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four. Got one Rayquaza, five, six Rayquaza. Got another Rayquaza in there. Nope. Yeah, here's the other one. Seven. And some EX series. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 cards. I'm going to send all these off to get graded. And they should be back in about a month and a half or two months. So just after Paldea evolved, it's been out for about a month. I should send these results and what I get from the return. I'll make a video. So stay tuned for